This week, the health program will be taking a look at mobile phones and their effects on our health. On the 6th, 7th and 8th of February, it will be World Mobile Phone Free Day. The opportunity for a debate on the influence of mobile phones in our daily lives, but also the occasion for a scientific debate on the harm from electromagnetic waves emitted by objects like cell phones. The scientific community has some worrying motives. We're mainly worried about brain tumors because the brain is the organ that is exposed the most and cancer is the pathology that we're most afraid of since it threatens directly and individually people's lives. We're also concerned about reproduction because it affects the survival of the species. We're less worried because the reproductive organs are not directly exposed or are so in a way that is a lot more irregular or on a weaker level. We're also wondering about neurodegenerative diseases, but it's in the background as it concerns the quality of life and not the person's evolution. Whether it be microwaves, satellite dishes, Wi-Fi terminals, and in particular mobile phones, these objects are everywhere. On animals as on volunteers, the scientists are trying to find out if overexposure to electromagnetic waves has an impact on the functions of the human brain, ears, or hormones. The results, there are punctual effects, but they don't resist time. We can now say that when we study the volunteers, we can see changes in the punctual encephalograms. We can also see changes in reaction time, which are transitory. But when we look at the long-term effects with repeated exposure, day in, day out, we can see that compared to normal physiological function, there are no cumulative effects or long-lasting effects. Other necessary data, knowing precisely the human exposure levels. And up until now, no epidemiological study revealed a toxic exposure level for humans. So why continue looking? We're not closing this debate because it's impossible to guarantee or show the absence of risk. There is a background rumbling of pathologies. There always is a number of natural and spontaneous pathologies that develop. The exposure to radio frequencies is practically everywhere and it's not possible to show that it isn't the mobile phone that's at the root of this pathology. So scientific studies continue. A study headed by the World Health Organization and based on more than 9,000 cases of brain tumors will be published in 2009. Are these cases linked to mobile phones?